is the opportunity to remember the service and sacrifice of those that fought on the beaches of Normandy in 1944. The largest amphibious invasion in the history of warfare. Some 5,000 plus ships and landing craft were used to transport over 150,000 troops to the beaches of Normandy. D-Day was the start of Operation Overlord. On D-Day 6th of June 1944, Allied forces launched a combined naval, air and land assault on Nazi-occupied France. The D in D-Day stands simply for day and is the term used to describe the first day of any large military operation. Early on the 6th of June, Allied airborne forces parachuted into drop zones across northern France. Ground troops then landed across five assault beaches, Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, and Sword. By the end of the day, the Allies had established a foothold along the coast and could begin their advance into France. British forces were assigned the Gold and Sword beaches. The British suffered 1,475 losses that day on the beaches. In Normandy, today, above the British Memorial, standing with giants have erected 1,475 silhouettes to represent those lost on the 6th of June, 1944. And as the King said the other day, it is our duty and responsibility and that of further generations to keep the memory alive of those that served on the beaches on D-Day. Good morning, everyone. It is my privilege for my colleague Joe and I to lead this act of worship that surrounds the commemoration of the 80th anniversary of a battle that made possible victory in the Second World War. We recognize that it's also a very poignant moment for many citizens of this town, those who acted as hosts to an army preparing for battle, soldiers from the USA and Canada and many other European nations were so grateful for the hospitality they were shown. We're also conscious that we have in our midst veterans and families of veterans, those who embarked from close by and for whom thousands, we heard, lost their lives and this place was their last glimpse of home. And it is with them in our minds that we are holding that service. So now it's my delight to ask Joe to lead us in our prayer. prayer that we're starting with is very much encapsulating all that we do here uh, this morning. So shall we pray? Lord of the nations, we honour the bravery and sacrifice of those who served. Grant us similar courage to recognise and restrain evil in our own day. And may those who lead the nations of our world work together to defend human liberty, that we may live peaceably one with another. And this we ask in the name of the Prince of Peace, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm going to invite you to join me in saying the Lord's Prayer. I'm conscious many of you will not have an order of service. We're going to use the traditional version with the thee and thy words. Shall we pray together? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And so we turn to our act of remembrance. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, 
We will remember them. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today.
Shall we pray as we remember? Almighty and eternal God, from whose love we cannot be parted, either by death or life, hear our prayer and thanksgivings for all we remember this day. Fulfill in them the purpose of your love, and bring us all with them to your eternal joy and peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And on this day, as we remember, we're also very conscious that war is an ever-present reality in our world. And so a prayer for those of the armed forces serving today. Almighty God, in you alone we find safety and peace. And so we commend to your gracious keeping all the men and women who serve in the Navy, the Army or the Air Force, who face danger and put their lives at risk so that others may live in safety. We ask that you would defend them day by day by your heavenly power and help them to know that they can never pass beyond the reach of your care. Keep alive in them and in us your vision of that peace which alone we must seek and serve. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Present Archdeacon to the Army, who is currently based in Salisbury. On this day, we hold before our Heavenly Father those whose memory we cherish and those whose names we will never know. We ask for our Father's strength to help lift our eyes above the torment of this broken world and that He may give us the grace to pray for those who wish us harm. As we do so, we are reminded that we remember the past and the present, and for the sake of the future, take this opportunity to commit ourselves to the pursuit of peace. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, a blessing. God grant to the living grace, to the departed peace, to the church, the king, the commonwealth, our allies and all people, unity, peace and concord. And to us and all God's servants, life everlasting. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit 
be upon you and those whom you love and remember this day and always. Amen. Now we remain standing as we sing the first verse of the National Anthem. Concludes the service here. However, it continues up in the Royal British Legion where we have displays of what Swanage, Purbeck, and the local areas were all involved with. Uh, please pop up and have a look and um, see some of the photographs. There's also photographs of the American units that were here, pictures of Station Road that you may not have seen before, with the cinema above Budgeons, the dance hall above Nixon's, and a lot of things up there, like say the, the radar, where it's developed up at Worth. There's lots of displays, exercise smash that took place over in Stutland on the build up to D Day. Please come and join us at the Royal British Legion in the High Street. Thank you very much.